Ever wondered why humans started worshipping idols? The answer lies deep in our past. In the dawn of civilization, when the mysteries of nature and the universe were far beyond human comprehension, people sought solace and understanding through the creation of physical representations of these forces, known as idols. The earliest known forms of idol worship trace back to the ancient lands of Mesopotamia and Egypt, the cradle of civilization. Here people crafted intricate idols, giving form to the formless and making the abstract tangible. They personified natural forces and divine elements, creating a pantheon of gods and goddesses that governed everything from the rise of the sun to the ebb and flow of the Nile. These idols were not merely artistic expressions, they were a conduit to the divine. They provided a physical manifestation of the spiritual and celestial realms, a concept that was both comforting and empowering. People could now see their gods, touch them, and through rituals and offerings, interact with them. In Egypt, deities like Ra, the sun god, and Isis, the goddess of motherhood and magic, were revered and worshipped through statues and symbols. Similarly, in Mesopotamia, idols of gods like Enlil, the god of wind and storms, and Ishtar, the goddess of love and war, were venerated. These early idols were more than just stone and metal. They were the embodiment of people's hopes, fears, and their quest to understand the world around them. They were an attempt to bring order to the chaos of the universe, to appease the divine and seek their blessings. Over time, this practice of idol worship evolved and spread as civilizations grew and interacted. It absorbed new ideas, adapted to changing beliefs, and continued to shape the spiritual landscape of societies. These early idols gave humanity a physical connection to the cosmos, a theme that continued to evolve as civilizations progressed. They were the first steps in a long journey of religious and cultural development, a journey that would take many forms and span across continents in millennia. So, the next time you see an idol or a statue, remember, it's not just a piece of art, it's a testament to our ancient desire to connect with the divine and understand the universe. It's a part of our collective human story. As societies flourished, so did the practice of idol worship, taking on new forms in the classical world. The ancient Greeks and Romans, renowned for their artistic prowess, saw the creation of idols not just as an act of devotion, but also as a testament to human creativity and craftsmanship. In the heart of ancient Greece, sculptors honed their skills to immortalize the pantheon of gods in marble. These statues, magnificent in their detail, were more than mere works of art. They were tangible representations of the divine, each god personified with unique attributes. From the thunder-wielding Zeus, the king of gods, to Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war, every deity had a story to tell. Similar practices were observed in ancient Rome. The Romans, influenced by Greek art and religion, also created statues of their gods. However, they introduced a unique aspect to their idol worship. Along with the gods, emperors and other important figures were also deified, their statues becoming a symbol of their power and divinity. These classical civilizations saw the world teeming with divine forces, each with a distinct identity. The statues they created served as a bridge between the human and the divine, providing a tangible link for humans to connect with their gods. They were not just objects of worship, but also played a crucial role in the religious rituals and festivals that were integral to these societies. In essence, the idol worship in ancient Greece and Rome was a reflection of their understanding of the cosmos, a blend of mythology, philosophy, and art. The idols they created were not just symbols of their gods, but were seen as the gods themselves, residing in the temples, participating in the rituals, and interacting with the people. These statues were more than mere art. They were a bridge to the divine, each god representing unique stories and attributes. As we delve deeper into the history of idol worship, we find that it is not just about the act of worship, but also about understanding the culture, the belief systems, and the ethos of the people who practiced it. Meanwhile, in the East, idol worship was being embraced and interpreted in unique ways. Hinduism, one of the world's oldest religions, developed a rich tradition of idol worship known as Murti Puja. This practice involves the veneration of sacred images or idols that represent various deities. Each idol is seen as a physical manifestation of the divine, bringing the gods and goddesses from the celestial realm into the tangible world. 
This rich tapestry of gods and goddesses, each with their own unique attributes and stories, provides a wide spectrum of divine aspects for devotees to connect with. Moving further east, we encounter Buddhism, a religion that originated from the teachings of Siddhartha Gautama, known as the Buddha. Here too we find the use of idols, although in a somewhat different context. Statues of the Buddha and various bodhisattvas are not worshipped as gods, but revered as enlightened beings. These statues serve as focal points for meditation, guiding the practitioner's mind towards the qualities of wisdom and compassion that these figures embody. In China, the philosophical religion of Taoism also incorporated idol worship as part of its practices. Taoist temples often house statues of various deities, immortals, and historical figures, each representing different aspects of the Tao or the natural order of the universe. These idols serve as visual aids for Taoist rituals, helping practitioners to focus their intentions and align themselves with the Tao. Whether through vibrant rituals or serene meditation, these idols provided devotees with a focal point for their spiritual reverence. They offer a physical representation of the divine, making abstract concepts more accessible and relatable. From the intricate idols of Hindu gods and goddesses to the serene statues of the Buddha and the Taoist pantheon, idol worship in Eastern religions continues to be a vital part of spiritual practice, connecting believers with the divine in meaningful and personal ways. Yet the rise of monotheistic faiths brought new challenges to the practice of idol worship. As the sands of time shifted, so did religious landscapes, and with the advent of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, a new paradigm of religious practice emerged. These religions, distinct in their beliefs and practices, shared a common thread, the worship of a single, formless deity. Judaism, one of the earliest monotheistic religions, vehemently rejected the use of idols. Instead, it taught the worship of an invisible, omnipresent God. The second commandment of the Ten Commandments explicitly prohibits the making of any physical representation of God, a principle that has remained steadfast in the Jewish faith. Following Judaism, Christianity emerged with a similar approach to the divine. While the Christian faith accepts the depiction of Christ in the saints, it emphasizes that these are not idols to be worshipped, but symbols to venerate and honor. The distinction between worship reserved for God alone and veneration becomes crucial. However, it was Islam that arguably took the most stringent stance against idol worship. The religion's core belief, Tawhid, asserts the oneness of God and categorically rejects any form of idolatry. Mosques, the primary places of worship, are devoid of any images or statues. Instead, they are adorned with intricate geometric patterns and verses from the Quran, reflecting the religion's emphasis on the written word and abstract art. This shift away from physical representations marked a profound change in the perception and practice of worship. It challenged the prevailing norms, sometimes causing friction and conflict, as seen during the Protestant Reformation's wave of iconoclasm in Europe. Yet it also opened new avenues for spiritual exploration and expression, focusing on the divine's immanence and transcendence rather than its physical manifestation. This shift away from idols marked a significant turning point in the history of religious practices. It demonstrated humanity's evolving understanding of the divine and the diverse ways in which we seek to connect with it. As we continue this journey through time, we'll see how modern perspectives further shape the practice of idol worship. In our modern era, perspectives on idol worship continue to evolve. This ancient practice, deeply intertwined with human history, now stands at the crossroads of tradition and progress. On one hand, it faces scrutiny from secular and rationalist perspectives. These viewpoints, shaped by modern science and reason, question the relevance and validity of idol worship. They ask, in an age of technology and empirical knowledge, where does the veneration of physical representations of the divine fit in? On the other hand, idol worship continues to hold a significant place in the cultural heritage and spiritual expression of many societies. For these individuals and communities, idols are more than just stone, metal or wood. They are symbols of their faith, tangible connections to their gods and vessels for their prayers and offerings. They serve as reminders of ancient stories, moral lessons and divine attributes. Across the globe, traditional forms of idol worship persist, from the vibrant Hindu temples of India to the serene Buddhist monasteries of East Asia. Yet they now exist alongside new forms of idolatry molded by modern culture and technology. 
Consider, for instance, the celebrity worship in popular culture or the reverence for iconic brands and products in consumer societies. These modern forms of idolatry, while not religious in the traditional sense, share similarities with their ancient counterparts in the way they elevate certain figures or objects to a status beyond the ordinary. In the end, the evolution of idol worship reflects the diversity of human beliefs and values. It mirrors our ongoing quest for meaning, our desire to understand the universe and our place within it, and our capacity for creativity and symbolism. As the world changes, so too does idol worship, reflecting the diverse beliefs and values of humanity.